Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about any wire system. Recently Altinex introduced any wire transmitter and receiver and it's called by this name because you can use any wire to transmit 1080p video signal over anything you can find. Whether it's a coaxial cable, whether it's uh, just a speaker wire, twisted pair, CAT6, whatever you find available you can use to transmit the, the uh, HDMI signal. So in my hands I'm holding right now is the any wire receiver and you can see that the cable comes in, the signal comes in on this terminal block that you can just kind of banana jack type uh, screws so you can put any wire into here. So there's little holes on the side here where you can insert your wire and just tie it down. It's AC powered on the inside uh, so the power supply is built in and it has HDMI input and it also has IR in. So that's your receiver and then right here we have a transmitter and the transmitter has an input it has a local output so if you have a local monitor that you want to run you can have local output it has IR out so if you want to transmit the IR signal from the television back into the rack or something AC power and again you have a terminal block or what we call banana plugs where you can connect anything uh, keep in mind that uh, you can connect any type of wire if it plugs into here it will work a typical transmission length does depend on the wire, but pretty much we've tested it with the, about 600 feet of almost any wire we could find. In uh, today's demonstration, I'm going to show you how to connect a 900 feet of regular audio wire and uh, transmit HDMI signal. Now, what's interesting, even though they're red and black, the polarity is not important. You can connect it any way you want. Uh, I'll also show you a couple of other neat things. You can physically transmit on a single wire but we do provide a return path. In some cases, if you only connect one wire, it still works. So that provides a redundancy. If, you, if you're renting this, or if anything, somebody cuts one wire, it's still going to continue working. So let's go ahead and uh, make a connection. So this is my uh, transmitter, so I'm going to connect one end of this spool of uh, 900 feet of uh, uh, 20, uh, oh, that looks like a 24 gauge wire or so. I'm going to connect uh, this to the block terminal and you see what I'm doing here I'm just gonna I'm not even putting it in I'm putting it on the side and just tying it down okay that's one connection and then we come back and do another connection and that's all what you need to do to connect the transmitter okay and I also gonna try I have a laptop here so I'm gonna connect the output from the laptop into the HDMI input all right, and that's my connection. So you can see we have a couple of LEDs here. One is the L connection LED, and the other one is the transmission. So because we're transmitting it in a, uh, that means data is being transmitted even if nothing is connected on the uh, other end. And that's how you can connect multiple units on the receiving end and still receive the signal. So now I take this second end, and I'm going to connect it to a, um, here is my receiver, and which is connected to a tabletop unit that connects to the monitor. Now notice the monitor has an image because it typically freezes the image if it loses the connection. So let's go, let's go ahead and connect it here. And again, it doesn't matter what polarity it is, whether it's a black or white or red, it doesn't matter. You just connect two wires and you should be all ready to go. So go ahead and connect the two wires. Okay, so now we have a transmitter connected, we have a receiver connected, and we're now transmitting the signal. So let's see if I can show you that it's a live signal. I'm going to play some video here, that's a preview video, Magnificent 7, and I'm going to make it full screen, so you can see how it works. So it's a full transmission of the uh, 1080p, 60 hertz, over the... Uh, two wires, audio wire. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and uh, disconnect one wire, and you'll notice that if I only have one wire connected, it's going to still continue transmitting the signal. And there we are. But uh, we do recommend to have both wires connected. 
that's the best way to do it. Uh, reliability is improved this way. And now that's your transmission. On, uh, on the receiver end, you can see also that we have LEDs saying that the data is transmitted. And we also have the uh, LED saying that the connection is made. So in addition to displaying the video, it also works very good on the computers. And I'm going to remove this and just show you just a computer screen so you can see that uh, it works both on, on the video and the computer. Now notice that there is a little bit of lag between the time I've moved the mouse on my laptop and the time you see it on the screen, it's about 0.7 seconds. So it's designed for streaming the video. So if you need the digital signage or if you're uh, looking at uh, displaying something uh, long distance, it's not designed to be a real time where you have a monitor in front of you and you're connecting it and, and, and you're using your mouse to, to see the screen in real time. It makes it a little bit difficult because there's a little delay. But if you're streaming video and you're sending video, that works just fine. And that's how the Any, AnyWire works. Uh, AnyWire is available now. Uh, please call to your salesperson if you have any additional questions.